Nelson Bachter, welcome to Fixture Laser. I'm glad to be here, Mark. Nelson, you've been a consultant for over 20 years, specializing in troubleshooting rotating equipment. If there was one thing that you could tell us that's more important than anything else, what would that be? In that 20-year period, I've seen a lot of machine failures, and I've come to learn that it is very important that we do precision alignment on machines. Specifically, why is that? Well, when machines are misaligned, we get premature failure of bearings and seals, and in some cases, we get increases in vibration. So vibration is, is bad for rotating equipment? Yeah, vibration is bad. It can shake parts loose. It also is a dissipation of energy. Uh, what we do need to remember, though, in regards to vibration, is that just because we don't have vibration does not necessarily infer that we have good alignment. Uh, there are cases, uh, particularly some coupling types, where uh, we may have uh, poor alignment, but we don't show up any vibration. Okay, so given the case, then, uh, that maybe the vibration problem has been solved, is it still just as necessary to go ahead and maintain regular precision alignment? Yes, it is. Okay, and what would be the reasons for that? Well, uh, one, one of the reasons is, uh, for instance, energy loss. Uh, if we look at a picture of this thermogram, uh, we can see a coupling here, and when it's properly aligned, uh, we can see that the coupling is dark. And for a thermogram, a dark area means that you're not generating any heat. But in the second picture, where the machine is misaligned, we note that the coupling and the surrounding machines have turned red, indicating that we're generating heat. And uh, heat, uh, is, by its nature, is an unnecessary loss of energy. And some people uh, sometimes come up with, and they say, well, I have flexible couplings. Uh, you know, I don't need to do precision alignment. But as we can see from this thermogram, that's not true. We're still dissipating energy uh, in the flexure of these flexible elements. So even with the vibration problem solved, then uh, we would still have undue strain uh, or too much strain on the bearings in the shaft, and we want to maintain regular precision alignment. We would have increased strain. The strain would be reduced somewhat by the flexible element. However, we're still dissipating energy, and we are operating at strain levels above what we would operate if we were properly aligned. Okay, very good. Uh, keeping in mind that you know the bottom line is very important for any company, what would be some of the financial reasons, the savings that, that we might realize by maintaining uh, precision alignment? To sound a little bit like a, a, a lawyer, uh, we need to think about both consequential damages and consequential downtime. Um, for instance, it doesn't cost that much to do a job properly with today's equipment. Uh, almost anybody can do alignment, and uh, it doesn't take that much time or effort. However, if we don't do proper alignment and we operate this equipment, and for instance, we have a seal or a bearing failure, we may even have a broken shaft, or in the case of a motor, we may have a rotor that gets into the stator. Well, the consequential damages are we may spend five or ten thousand dollars on a repair uh, which could have been prevented but what is even worse than that is the consequential downtime uh, we may lose uh, a day or two's production or if it's a critical piece of equipment maybe in a week and the cost could be fifty or hundred or two hundred thousand dollars a day so now what was a simple job to do if we would have done it right is now costing us maybe in the hundreds of thousands of dollars so if we maintain regular precision alignment then we're really talking about seeable, tangible savings in maintenance, labor, uh, downtime, and resulting production losses then that we could avoid. Yes, that's true. Uh, and to touch on a point that you made just a minute ago, it, with today's sophisticated equipment, it really, really does become very easy for a company to maintain their own precision alignment, doesn't it? Yes, that's true. There's really no reason uh, as simple as equipment is to use nowadays for uh, anyone to have an excuse for not performing precision alignment. Well, Nelson, Fixture Laser has a, a new precision alignment tool that we want to introduce to everybody. But before we do that, I want to thank you very much for coming and spending some time with us and for helping us to understand clearly why it's important to maintain precision alignment. Thank you very much, Nelson. Okay, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, spread the need for precision alignment. Very good. Thanks.